Hello, and welcome to, back to the Lido Deck. I am your host, Thomas, and today I'm going to look at five mistakes that first-time cruisers make. But first, remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment on this so that the algorithm picks this up as something that you like. I am trying to build my page, so please like and subscribe at least. Now, if you don't know, I am the co-host of Carnival Cruising Podcast Ways. We are probably one of the best, if not the best, cruising podcast out there. Um, we deal with anything and everything Carnival Cruising related. We only deal with Carnival at the moment because that's what we know is Carnival because that's all we've ever cruised. Um, so you can find us anywhere that you listen to podcasts. You can also find us on Facebook. You can search for Carnival Cruising Podcast Ways. We have a podcast page and a group page so sign up for both um or you can type in facebook.com slash carnival cruising podcast ways okay so back to our topic five mistakes that first time cruisers make the first is not prepaying your gratuities now if you you have the option to prepay your gratuities which is very very I think it's a, a, a kind of a lifesaver because you don't have to worry about them taken out in the middle of the cruise. Um, because it generally, if you're taking a seven day cruise, they generally take it out on the second, third day and the last day or second to last day. I can't remember. And if you're on a budget, and you don't realize that they're going to take it out. They're going to take it out, and you're going to go over, and you're going to be like, oh, crap. So it's best to prepay those gratuities. The next mistake that a lot of people make on their first cruise is they don't take advantage of the different activities. They, they really don't know what to do. So they're just roaming around. Take advantage of the fun times. Um, it's on the Hub app. Uh, you can get a paper one on at the guest services, but it is, um, you know that that's your that's your shows you what everything is is going on. What is going on on the ship? The third thing is trying to do too many everything. And what I mean is they will schedule every minute of the cruise and not relax. They'll go to a show. Then they'll go to trivia. Then they'll go to another show. And then they'll go to, you know, at, you know a concert or, you know, or not a concert, uh, like listen to an, a, a band or, or go to the piano bar and just not take time to relax. Cruises are for relaxing. You don't have to, like, do everything, but you want to do something. And the fourth mistake, the fourth mistake that a lot of new cruisers make is they, they tend to schedule outside excursions. And, you know, I've done an outside excursion one. Um, that's only because we interviewed the guy and I felt safe going on that excursion. But you know, a lot of first-time cruisers don't realize that if you book outside and they're late, then the ship can leave without you. If you're late to for final on-call or final, uh, final on-board, they can leave you there. And, you know, that that's going to get expensive on your part. So the number five mistake that first-time cruisers make is not joining their respective cruise group. Now, you can go on Facebook and type in the date and the ship name, and there generally be at least one, if not two, um, groups for that particular cruise. And you can join them, and they have lots of lots of activities. There's chatting throughout the, and the lead-up to the, the cruise. They usually have... You know, like slot pools, they have ca cabin crawls, pub crawls, um, they do gift exchanges, you know, they do all sorts of things. And 
it just make sure that you know someone on the cruise and you've already made a friend so you can talk you know you find them on the cruise you have a little conversation and if you know if you're vocal enough things will happen like what happened to me on my last cruise i was on an elevator and these two women who were in were in my cruise group freaked out because i was on the elevator with them so remember those remember those you know those mistakes and try not to make them if you are a first time cruiser so until next time i'll see you on the lido deck <laughs>